This seems clean. Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and welcome to another crash course on Fastify. Now before I take you onto my computer and start walking through with the entire thing that we are about to do, let me first clear up some of the questions that you might be having in your mind. First of all, this crash course is going to be entirely about Fastify. So what is Fastify, you might be asking? Now, so far in the world of Node and API development world of the Node, Express is a de facto standard of doing everything. There is no such contender, no such opposition to that. So hence, this seat is taken by Fastify. Fastify is another kind of an alternate version of Express and in case you are having some issues with performance or anything else in the Express, you can now look for an alternate option which is Fastify. So what are the tools that we are going to use in this entire crash course? The tools are not really that much tough, but it's this time I didn't want it to play around with just the JSON data or Redis or something like that. I wanted to go more in depth. So in this particular series, we are going to use MongoDB and we'll be making a connection. We'll be storing everything in Mongo and we'll be retrieving everything from Mongo. Apart from that, we'll be using Node.js, we will be using Fastify, and that's basically it. A couple of more tools that we are going to use in this particular series is Postman and that's all what we are going to need. We will be building a simple REST API so that we can see that how Fastify works, what are the different syntax that it uses, and what are the conventions and documentation that it is referring. And there are a little bit difference in the Express and Fastify so I'll walk you through with that what we will be building in this series. This is going to be just majorly focused on using Fastify to build REST API. We're going to create a simple dumbed down version of Learn Code Online. We will be having a simple platform where we can make queries and for the courses basically. So we'll be having particular route from where we can retrieve all the existing courses. We can make a request based on ID to get one particular course. We will be able to create new courses, of course, we will be able to update existing courses, we will be able to delete the courses. So full-fledged kind of backend, but not really too much in depth, a kind of basics, but still there's a lot to learn up here. So this is all what we'll be building up in this Fastify kind of a crash course series. Okay, so before we get on to computer and start moving there, there's one more thing I would like to address here. Just because Fastify is here and it's new, this doesn't mean that Express is going somewhere or Express is now outdated. When something new is here, it's obviously our job to actually keep an eye on it and be updated and so that we can actually take a look on it whenever it is needed. This doesn't mean that Express is going somewhere or Express is not good anymore. That is absolutely a wrong thought. Also, I would like to express this, that since Express is handling everything without any issue, it doesn't mean every population of the IT world is happy with Express. There are obviously some bunch of people who are not really that happy with Express. So having a Fastify as an alternative in the tool belt is always a great idea. And as an IT person, it should be one of your priority to actually be updated about these things, what's new in the market and all of that. And with also, I would like to mention that Fastify is not too much new. It has been around in the IT world for a couple of years now, and it's looking really rock solid. It, at least as of now, I can see that it's much more solid than Dino, but I'm gonna talk about Dino in some other video. Now, enough of this talking. Now let's move on to my computer screen code files, and let me walk you through that what and how we are gonna build it, what is going to be our strategy. Let's move on to computer.